Welcome back. A college player's time on campus is measured and pretty exact. Four years, five years for some. Beyond that, it's results that really impact any forward momentum for a program. Courtney Lyle sat down with AllQuest.com's Brent Hubs and Tennessee Sports Radio's Jason Swain about the impact Peyton and his teammates left for Tennessee. Of course, there's been a lot of great quarterbacks come through Tennessee, uh, Dewey Warren, Andy Kelly, Heath Schuler, and of course, Condridge. Uh, what makes Peyton Manning stand out, you know, while he was here? Why were fans so excited to watch him? Well, I mean, he was record setting. Uh, you look at the, the way he changed the passing game. Um, he was a Southern son, you know, family of, of, you know, Southern football in the SEC. He loved the tradition, and he stayed. You know, he was well, he was well liked, Jason. But then when you pass up all the millions and you say, hey. My love for the school is so much that I'm going to give up those millions and come back for my senior year. It's in his, you know, popularity from that point into just a different stratosphere. The image that stands, stands out to me is him, you know, leading the band. Um, and I came here in 2003, and you, know, you see all those pictures and you see videos of him leading the band. And um, it seems like every quarterback after Peyton tried to do that. But no one did it like Peyton. How did he change, you know, how Tennessee saw or how people saw the Tennessee football program? Well, again, they were really successful. When you look at uh, the way he finished his freshman year, uh, they won seven of their last eight games, and it was largely because the offense really took off um, and, and put up huge numbers. Uh, and then, look, he beat Alabama in '95, and that's something that hadn't happened. Uh, you know, that was one that took him to a different place. They won a conference championship with him, and, and he brought Tennessee such a national. Number notoriety. And, and today when you talk to prospects and you ask them, what, what is it about Tennessee? Well, I don't know a whole lot about him, but what do you know? Well, Peyton Manning played there. He's carried on since he's been in the NFL about his love affair for Tennessee, and, and that's helped elevate Tennessee from a national standpoint without any question. And you got the Manning camp, too, with most high school quarterbacks. You know, If you want to go to the, the premier camp in, in, in the country, you go to the Manning camp, and that's when um, him and, and Peyton, uh, Peyton and Eli, they run a camp down in Louisiana and it's one of the best in the country. You know, having the success that he's having now in the NFL, how much does that, you know, get people excited and think back to Tennessee? I don't think kids are coming to play football at Tennessee because Peyton played here, but I think that Peyton's time at Tennessee helped elevate Tennessee to a place they hadn't been to, and, and it brought in other great players like Jamal Lewis and then like Cozy Coleman and Fred Weary and T. Martin, and they took it on from there. I mean, he, he's a part of the, the groundwork for what all Tennessee fans want Tennessee to get back to. When they talk about the glory days, it's, it's Peyton in the years after that Peyton helped build. But I think seeing him have the success that he's having this year, coming off what he's been through, I think the Tennessee fans really appreciate it because uh, he's, he's never wavered in where he played college ball. Another thing that Peyton Manning did was raise the bar for, for young quarterbacks. You know, now, ever since Peyton Manning has made it known that he studies and the work that he puts in, when I mean, you look at the young quarterbacks like Russell Wilson, they embrace studying. I mean, these high school kids, they talk about uh, studying film and, and pre uh, preparing for a game. It's because of Peyton, because of what he did. And, and seeing his success, it makes these young quarterbacks want to prepare like Peyton. And then you know, here in Tennessee, you go out and get a, a quarterback, you attract a quarterback. You you mentioned Peyton, you bring in a really good high school quarterback, then that starts to attract really good receivers and that attracts really good offensive linemen and running backs. So it's a Peyton Manning effect. When he committed to Tennessee, he recruited. And he, I mean, he did whatever he could to get great players around him. He tries to help recruit for Tennessee now because it means a lot to him. And I think the other thing too, Jason, you bring up a great point about the film study, is he took summer workouts in Knoxville when he was here and set a standard that everybody was to live by. And, and he created winning habits. His demands on guys was something that carried on in 98 and 99 and carried on when Casey was here that that's what you do in the summer to get ready to play football. That's the Peyton Manning effect that's been positive for Tennessee that quite frankly they got to get back to at Tennessee. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks so much guys. We appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Courtney, thanks. She also had a chance to spend some time with one of the longest tenured members of UT staff, the man who's known the inner workings of the volunteer locker room for more than three decades, Max Parrott. Set up for practice, laundry, get ready for games. Max Parrott has been a part of the UT equipment staff for 34 years. It's seven days a week, it's usually 
12 to 14 hours. He's seen a lot of players come through the program, including a young quarterback from Louisiana. He and Brandon Stewart came in together to highly recruited quarterbacks. They were just normal freshmen, and then he grew into his role. Parrott says Peyton was all business on the field, but didn't forget the guys who helped him get ready. His freshman year, I received a package in the mail from New Orleans, and I went, I don't know anybody from New Orleans. What's this? So I opened it up, had a real nice note, had a nice little polo shirt, and he said his father told him, always take care of your equipment guy, your sports information guy, and your trainer. Peyton isn't a stranger to the football complex. He still visits and keeps in touch with Parrott. I text him after the uh, championship game and just said, you know, good game, good luck in the Super Bowl. And he'll send pictures every now and then of the kids. It's not the plays or accomplishments on the field that stand out to Parrott. He always made us feel like we meant something to him. That's what made me feel good was he would always come on and say thanks. Now Parrott gets to watch Peyton play in another Super Bowl with a handful of guys that have come through Knoxville. I'll be probably pulling for the Broncos a little bit more because we've got four guys on that team. So it'll be, it'll be fun to watch. And coming up a little bit later, we'll take a look at the other Vols set to compete for the Super Bowl.